Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have a very special Nintendo Switch unboxing video for you. This is the special edition Animal Crossing New Horizons themed Nintendo Switch. I am so excited for this game. Let me tell you, Animal Crossing is one of my top three favorite video game franchises of all time alongside Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers. I love the game so much and the second I saw that they were releasing an Animal Crossing Switch, just for those Joy-Cons, I, I had to get them because I collect the Joy-Cons, but man, the dock, the everything about it, I was like, I need this. Now here's the thing, I'm not gonna replace my existing Switch with this one. I'm just gonna keep this as a collector's item. I'm, I will use the dock on one of my TVs and then use the Joy-Cons as well, um, but uh, yeah, the, the, the Switch itself is just a bonus for me to be honest. And this is so cool. I am so excited for the game. I can't wait for it to be here, but I wanted to get this. So I'm going to do an unboxing of the Switch. I got this case as well for the Switch. This is the uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons Aloha Edition carrying case and screen protector. They do have a version of this for the Switch Lite, but I got one for the regular Switch. Um, so I'll, I'll unbox these and show you them in detail. I'm going to compare them to the regular Switch and I'm going to show you every single Joy-Con combination with the new colors. I have all of the, the Joy-Cons along with some custom ones. And so this is going to be a long video. Get ready. Let's jump right in. So let's take a look at uh, the Switch box first and foremost right here. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Uh, the background mirrors um, pieces of the actual box art for the game. Uh, very, very excited about the dock and all that, but uh, we'll get to that the bottom so it still comes with all the same standard stuff this does not come with the game other countries have a bundle with this this whole system plus the game however they get that later in the US this releases or this released a week before the game and the game is not included um which is kind of nice for someone like myself that I like to buy my game digitally anyway so if I was buying this I could just get the digital copy uh but here it is right here um so the there's the front and then the back has an island patterned console with two-tone Joy-Con controllers. Very, very excited about all that. Love the whole packaging right here. It's so great. And there you go on the back. This is so cool. Look at that artwork right there. For Dodo Airlines, you are embarking on your vacation to this island right here. Super, super cool. All right, so before we open this up, real quick, let's jump into the actual carrying case right here. So this is a carrying case and screen protector. So there you go, just like that. Tom Nook right there, of course, trying to sell you things, trying to take your money. Uh, Timmy and Tommy right there, Nookling Aloha shirt pattern on reverse side. So that's actually really, really cool. So there you have it right there. Um, so this carries up to five game cards and two Joy-Cons. So uh, let's actually open up, um, yeah, let's do the Switch first. Why, why, why delay things anymore? I know you all want to see the Switch and I want to see it. So let's just, let's get right to the main stuff. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Ooh, oh man, those Joy-Con colors look so good. Let's take the switch out of the uh, the packaging here real quick. It's in there nice and tight, there we go. Oh man, I am so excited about this. Um, let's slide this thing out. You ready? You ready for this? Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice, oh man. Um, so let's, let's take an up close look at the detail on this thing. So you have little patches of almost like little islands in between some water right there. And you can see different things. You can see different villagers. There's a campfire going, uh, a tent. Um, that's probably, is that Rover maybe? So you get a few different villagers and things. That's super, super cool. Lighthouse. A little fish in the water right there. Oh, you got some snow here, snowman. Um, so they're really representing all the seasons. Like, wow, this is super, super cool. The nice thing about this one too is like, it is it is pretty noticeable. There's been other Switch designs where it's not as noticeable, but because this design encompasses the whole thing here uh, in any bit of light on this, like, I mean, unless you're like really in the dark or you kind of look at it at like a certain angle, but for the most part, you, you do get an idea that there's something there. Um, so it's not super in your face, but it is, you know, pretty prominent, which is cool. So Animal Crossing fans, you know, will appreciate it, but um, it's not something that's going to, like, scream out Animal Crossing if, if, you know, 
if you don't want it to, I guess. But uh, really, really neat. So um, for comparison's sake, um, I'll, I'll just bring in the, the regular switch right here, obviously, as you can see. Um, so there's, I guess there's not really much to compare with, that, with it. I will say this is, in case there's any doubt, all Switch models from now on are going to be the new upgraded Switch. Um, but just in case there's any doubt, HAC001 and then in parentheses, dash zero one, which means this is the model that has the better battery life. So everything else is the exact same, but better battery life in this model. Um, I, I have seen other special edition switches. I do have the uh, Dragon Quest one right here. So for comparison, um, in case you wanted to compare, I guess, um, special edition switches, they like to have like this sort of style of, of image right there where it's kind of like in the light you sort of see it so that's kind of cool that there's different versions of that now oh this one has the blue slimes as well um but uh so if you, if you don't want the color and you just want something more you know plain like that then then you have that option so i wanted to at least mention that since since i have this switch here just saving it for collector's purposes at this point um but uh yeah there it is all right so, with that being said, let me bring out the Joy-Cons right here, because obviously that's the other awesome part about this whole package, right? This is the main reason why I, uh, why I was going to get these to begin with. These Joy-Con controllers. Look at these. I love all the different color variations. We've gotten a whole variety of blue colors now, actually. Um, but uh, it's nice to have, you know, some of the green options as well. And then that's really, really cool, the two-tone color. So you got this sort of like, I, I get this like minty feel looking at these, right? Like, this is so cool. Um, and uh, as you can see, so the color wraps around the whole front right there, but then you start to see where it divides and then the back is this nice, like, um, white kind of, a little bit off-white color. Um, yeah, this whole two-tone thing is really, really neat. I love that a lot. It makes it more unique, you know? That's really cool. So there you have it. These are the, the brand new Joy-Cons. The buttons are matching uh, the, uh, the colors of the Joy-Cons there on the inside. But So, of course, we have to complete the... Uh, the full picture, right? And there you have it. Super, super cool. And here's what the back looks like with those Joy-Cons. So uh, really, really neat because this is the first time that we have like, you know, a different color on the back for the Joy-Cons on the front. And uh, this white, you know, really kind of pops a little bit in the back there. It's, it's pretty cool. Really, really neat. There you have it. All right, so there's some more good stuff inside though. So let's keep digging through here. And what I want to get to, well, first of all, we do have our Joy-Con grip, of course. So let's actually take the Joy-Cons off and take a look at what they look like on the Joy-Con grip, because that's also important. So there you have it. So if you play with a Joy-Con grip, this is what it's going to look like. And then from the opposite side, this is what it's going to look like. And it's kind of cool too because you even get a little hint of the colors from the top. So that, that's fun. All right. Um, then, what else is inside? It's so a standard warranty stuff. But there's also these Joy-Con straps, which are really, really cool because they match the white color on the back of the Joy-Cons. However, the straps match the actual Joy-Con colors there. And they're not just plain one color. They actually have a little bit of a design on them, which got some like white and stuff on it. So um, that's actually really, really cool. It makes it more fun to mix and match these Joy-Con straps. So that's fun. So speaking of which, um, let's see what it looks like with all this on it. So you can attach the green with the green or do the opposites. So let's attach that right here. And I'll show you what it looks like. And there you have it. So this is really, really cool. 
because you get this sort of matching thing. From the back as well, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I'm glad that this actually matches colors because Nintendo's released ones where the colors were slightly off. I, I mean, it might be, but it, it looks, I mean, it pretty much looks like it matches. So it's not like hurting my eyes to look at where it's like slightly off and just bugging me. Um, it actually fits really, really well. And then here's the, the green one. But like I said, you can mix and match as well. So Let's swap. So if you want to get crazy with it, you can do this. Ooh, I'm such a rebel. That's pretty cool. So there you have it. Those are the new Joy-Cons, but that's not all. Well, let, let's keep digging through here. So first of all, we do have our HDMI cable, of course. We have our uh, power adapter, of course, so all same stuff. But the other really, really cool thing where they went above and beyond. In the past, Nintendo has done special docks, right? So this is the Nintendo Switch dock that we all know, right? Just plain black, it's got the logo right there. But they've done some cool ones, there's a few. The one that I really love is the uh, Super Smash Brothers one. Uh, it's kind of more subtle, but, but like the colors blend in, but um, with this, you know, uh, grayscale style, but really, really cool. I love it. Features lots of great Nintendo characters. But this, this is the first time where they've painted the dock a different color. So this is actually really, really neat. Oh man. And it's all themed to go all together. Look at this. This is the new Animal Crossing New Horizons dock. It's all the same exact thing. It's just a new paint job. The interesting thing is there's no Nintendo Switch logo now on the front. That is, they, they, they expect you to know that this is for the Switch and not like your Xbox or something. Um, but really, really cool, um, awesome design right there of the characters. Um, nice and smooth, looks really, really neat. And so, yeah. So there's the inside right there. So you still got your same little like protectors on the sides and the same dock connector at the bottom. Um, your USB ports on the side. Everything else is the exact same. Nintendo logo is still there on the back. And then you open it up and it still has all the same ports and everything. So, yeah. So let's see what this whole package is supposed to look like, right? So let me move some stuff out of the way. And uh, the idea here is that you take this whole Animal Crossing switch, so we'll take these straps off, put our Joy-Cons on, and then, are you ready for this? Boom. Look at that, that is, that's beautiful right there. That's just, ah, uh, the colors, like the green and blue on the dock matching the system. Just looks great. The whole white color matching the the the, um, the two-tone color with the, the background of the Joy-Cons, right? So let's flip this whole thing and uh, you start to really see where the dock and the Joy-Cons have some synergy there as well. So that is really, really cool. That's awesome. There you have it. That is the new Animal Crossing New Horizons Nintendo Switch. And here are those right there. But of course, um, so I'm gonna open up the case and then we're gonna start to do all the comparisons with the Joy-Cons, the Joy-Con straps, all the colors, have some fun with it because there, there are plenty of people out there that will be unboxing the Switch, but not many that are gonna be able to compare the colors with all the existing Joy-Con colors that are out there. Now, yeah, I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments that's like, you don't have the Labo Joy-Cons, or you don't have whatever, I, I get it, all right? Just let me have this thing, all right? Let me, let me do my best that I can, because <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna be able to get some of those other exclusives and stuff. So here's your screen protector right here. I'm not gonna bother with that, but you have it. Um, and then of course the actual, okay, so actually, yeah, here it goes this way, because here's the Switch logo. So there you have it. Oops, sorry, flipping it over. Nintendo logo there, so you got this sort of reverse 
color on that side, so depending on which side you look at. And then of course, the shell open right up. And inside can fit um, Joy-Cons and some game cards right there, five game cards. So that's super cool. So if you want to take your Switch on the go, just plop it right in, and there you go. Nintendo Switch. Um, I guess you can kind of do this, or I don't know, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Whatever it is, you can fit it in however you want. So there's the, the special case. All right, with that being said, uh, let's jump into some Joy-Con comparisons. All right, I got everything set up. I got my current Switch right here, and um, we're gonna focus on the Joy-Con combinations first, and then we'll get into the, all the different combinations with the Joy-Con straps. So I haven't connected them to the Switch yet because I actually wanted to show what it looks like on here, so let's uh, do that. Let's make sure the volume's up. All right, interesting. So it's kind of a gray line across. Uh, usually it's like themed with the color, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so same thing there. But there it is on the system menu. Those nice like minty colors right there. And so there you have it. So let me actually uh, close that up. But there's the, the Nintendo Switch like that, as I was mentioning, right? Um, so this is not the Animal Crossing Switch. I'm just using my existing Switch right now just to do all these uh, Joy-Con comparison. So let's start with going through all the combinations with this left green Joy-Con right here. So I have a box of Joy-Con right here. So it's going to take me a little while to kind of go through these. So I apologize. Let me let me see if I can make sure that I, I go through them all and don't miss any. So here's the standard gray Joy-Cons right here, as you can see. Um, I'll try and go through them quickly, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I care too much about the one-sided thing. It just kind of looks a little lopsided, but it is what it is. Um, but if you want a little bit extra, there's these Super Smash Brothers ones that have a little line <laughs> on them right here. And that's the only difference. Um, so just throwing that out there. All right, let's go with, um, let's take a look at the actual neon green ones because we have this sort of new green color, right? Very different. Uh, style is very bright and in your face and this is supposed to be more subtle and peaceful relaxing right so it's kind of interesting especially from the back you can see the contrast oops so very very interesting all right well, let's bring in some neon blue joy cons right here check that out that's not too bad. I mean, yes, this is kind of a brighter color, but it's not it's not as offensive. The back looks kind of good too. It's all right. Yeah, you know, it's, it's doable. Um, obviously this blue is gonna work better, but uh, we're trying out different combinations. All right, let's bring in a neon red. Let's let's keep keep the neon trend going. Again, just so bright. These neon colors just don't go that well overall with with the new ones. Uh, which, by the way, I don't know what to call the new ones. Is there an official name for them? Um, like, I almost want to say mint green, mint blue, but like, I, I honestly, I don't know if there's an official color name for them. I, I kind of have to, I, I should probably look that up and see. Let's bring in neon pink. Again, very, very bright. Okay. Okay. There's also, I can find it. There it is. Neon yellow. I just, the neon yellow is just, it's too much. It's, it's just too in your face. It's that highlighter color, you know? Um, there's also the new neon orange that just came out a few months ago, I believe. Still pretty bright though. Still pretty bright. That's not too bad, the back part, but if the front is just, I don't know. All right, then we also have the regular red Joy-Cons. They're bundled with Super Mario Odyssey in the US, but sold separately in Japan. It's better, but it's still 
you know, th these colors really aren't going to work as well with some of the other Joy-Con colors. Uh, what else am I missing here? I'm just trying to go through my little bucket that I have, basically, or my box of Joy-Cons. Um, okay, there's the Dragon Quest uh, Joy-Cons right here, which are a different shade of blue. Um, but again, I don't know how well it matches, but it's a thing. The back isn't too bad, though. Um, although it is a little more lopsided in color. All right. And then we have the Disney Tsum Tsum Joy-Con. So we already did neon pink, but does it make a difference with Disney stuff on it? Not really. <laughs> uh, and the back is, is still the same. But these are the Disney ones. These are the ones that my wife uh, uses most of the time. I had to take them back from her to use for the video. Um, all right, then we have the Pikachu yellow Joy-Con. So this is from the uh, Pokemon Let's Go Special Edition which I just ordered the Joy-Cons online. I didn't actually um, order the full system. The back is not bad, the yellow and white. Um, but I don't know. It's still, it's still, these colors are just still too strong in comparison. For me, at least. Um, so then, that's it for the existing Joy-Cons, but I have some custom ones. So I customized some Atomic Purple Joy-Cons. So let's check that out. Yeah, these, these are another case of doesn't really mesh well together, but it's possible if you just want to, like, pick some random Joy-Cons when you, you know, play every day, and then you can have some fun with it. Uh, then I also have some custom Legend of Zelda Joy-Cons from Controller Chaos. Um, now, these are green as well, but still, I don't know. The back is not too bad, but... Just, yeah, it just doesn't really fit as well. well what about gold custom Joy-Cons that I got from Colorware? All right, I don't know. Yeah, I, I couldn't really find a super good color combination that works with these, these green ones. It seems to be very, uh, very particular. Um, and so, uh, did I actually already do neon yellow? I did, right? Yes, I have two neon yellow because then they made you buy another one in another bundle. So I already, I already did that color. Okay, um, so now let's bring in this blue Joy-Con, which by the way, this is now our fourth blue color, I believe. So um, for comparison's sake, we have this. We have the neon blue Joy-Cons that came at launch, right? So neon blue right here. Uh, then we have the um, uh, Dragon Quest special Joy-Cons right here, um, which there's two different versions, this one and then the other side right here. Um, I'll just hold the other side just for reference. And then the, I forget what they called this one. Um, was this just blue or no, I don't, I don't know. Uh, actually, no, this isn't blue. What am I saying? Um, Yes, it is. It is blue. I, it looks purplish, but there's another purple one. I'm getting it all mixed up. There's so many colors. Um, so yeah, these are these are the four shades of blue that are now available for the Switch, and I believe that makes blue the color that is represented the most in Joy-Cons. And blue is my favorite color, so that's great. Uh, it's actually kind of cool to see all these different shades of blue right here, and you can sort of try and mix and match and find a good combination, which we're going to do next because we're putting the blue Joy-Con in there, and then we're going to see what else fits, right? So let's let's see. Let's have some fun with that. So here's the, the blue Joy-Con. So let's bring in our standard gray. Okay, again, you still have the issue of... Uh, just having one color sort of stand out there, but it's all right. Bring in our Super Smash Brothers versions of the gray Joy-Cons. A little bit more dynamic there. It's a little better. This side brings you the color, this side brings you the style, you know? Kind of have some fun with it there. Represent Super Smash Brothers, one of my favorite video game franchises, and represent blue, one of my favorite color. So, right, like, that, that's kind of cool. Um, so then, let's bring in the neon red Joy-Con. So this is kind of like the blue and red from the Switch launch, except, uh, different, different styles of brightness there. 
All right, let's bring in the neon blue. So now let's see how these blues work. Ooh, this is actually kind of a nice combo. I kind of like this. That's fun. Um, and then the back, you also get something a little different too, which it's okay, but it's actually kind of fun having two different shades of blue like that. I might actually rock this. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. All right. We do have neon green right there. Neon green. It's all right. It's all right. Um, I'm realizing I grabbed the wrong neon yellow Joy-Con, uh, so I should have done that. Um, so let me actually grab that real quick while I talk. It's right over here. Um, I could cut the video like a professional would do, but I'm too lazy to do that. There we go. Neon yellow. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like this combo. Neon yellow just doesn't work with anything. And uh, yeah, I, I don't like it. Let's, let's stop that. Okay, let's bring in some neon pink. Boom. I, I mean, the pink is still very bright. It's not as offensive as with the green because it's kind of like this sort of cotton candy look, but still the pink is just really bright. Um, then, we have the regular red Joy-Cons. Mm, I don't know, the red is pretty bold. The back is actually kind of cool, but this is this is still pretty bold. Actually, this is a good 4th of July one right here. Red, red, white, and blue. <laughs> so on the 4th of July, you can, you can represent that uh, pretty well right there. Uh, let's bring in those other blue Joy-Cons right here, the newer ones. Okay, that's all right. I kind of like the neon blue and then this one, you know, that combination better, but it's, it's all right. Okay. Let's bring in the Dragon Quest blue ones. Okay, that works too. That works too. And there you go. Uh, we also have the Eevee Joy-Cons from the Pikachu and Eevee set right there. Uh, you know, that's not too bad, because this, this golden color is more of like a brownish color. It's like a muted um, color com in comparison to others, so it's actually it's not too bad. All right, then we have the purple Joy-Cons. I think they're called Neon Purple, um, but... They could pass as just non-neon colors as well. Okay, it's all right. Uh, and then we're, we're in, uh, actually no, I was about to say a custom territory realm, but we do have one more, which is almost the same thing, but it's the Disney version. Very subtle, but um, Disney Zoom Zoom version. So the back is the same. All right, so that leaves our custom ones right here. So let's bring in the atomic purple. So many Joy-Cons. We have our Zelda custom ones. I don't know. Some of these are, are very specific, you know, in terms of what's going to match. And then last but not least, my custom gold ones. Which are alright. These are, these are like a glossy finish though. If it was a matte finish, I think it would work better. But uh, the glossy finish kind of makes it mismatch a little. And there you have it. Those are all of the color combinations with the Joy-Cons that I have. Um, and so that's that's pretty cool. There's a lot of really, really fun stuff that you can do with those. So now let's try all of the color Joy-Cons with the Joy-Con straps. All right, so now let's grab these Joy-Con straps. Let's start with the basic gray Joy-Cons here. So I'm just gonna attach one on one side and one on the other so you can get both color combinations at the same time. So. Um, yeah, this actually kind of looks cool. I like the white with the gray. That works well, and the color is kind of like an extra little touch. You know? That's actually pretty nice. Like, I almost feel like this looks very professional, and then this is like an extra bit of flair to add to it, you know? It's kind of cool. Alright. So then, let's uh, bring in the Super Smash Brothers versions 
and see if there's a little extra fun that we can add to those since they're very similar. And I think again you're going to find a very similar style. Um, yeah, I mean I think these work even even better. Just the extra silver just kind of adds a bit more to it. And fun little color there. That's cool. I like that. I hope they, they do more Joy-Con strap colors too because I think that's um, certainly um, it provides for a lot m more options, you know, and that's that's always great. All right, let's jump into neon blue territory. Ooh, that's cool. Um, they're both actually kind of fun. This works really well together, obviously, the color match, uh, especially because this has some white on the strap, and so the blue and white kind of works well. Uh, but this actually, you know, just is an extra different color to add on for fun. So either way, I think this white is going to go well with, with a lot of these Joy-Cons, to be honest. I think these are actually going to be some great combinations. It's too bad they don't sell these separately either, too. So you really only have just two of them, one of each, to unless you buy another Animal Crossing Switch or something, you know? All right, let's bring in the neon red. Yeah, again, the white works really well. The colors here are a little odd, but to be honest, they're just, they're not, they don't bother me much because the colors, they're kind of off to the side, you know? So it doesn't get in your face. It's just a fun extra little thing. So that's kind of cool. All right. So now let's jump into that neon yellow, the, the horrible neon yellow color. It wasn't as offensive when it first came out, but then as more and more Joy-Con released, I kind of began to fully understand the depth of the pain that it gives me. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, again, the white matches really well. These colors are a little odd, but it's fine. You know, it's kind of cool. There you have it. I wonder if they do sell these Joy-Con straps separately in Japan. I know they've done that for other colors, which is how I've gotten them. But I wonder if these specific ones they do or not. It'll be interesting to see. All right, let's check out Neon Green, which by the way, now Best Buy as an exclusive to Best Buy, sells a double pack of the neon green. Whereas before you had to get the the packs with the neon pink Joy-Cons. Um, but if you don't want the neon pink, then you have this. Now this actually, again, the green works really well here, uh, but the blue is also kind of fun. So great combinations. If you're a fan of green, I think this actually works really, really well. All right, let's jump to some neon pink. There you go. I, I sound like a broken record, but the white just works really well. Yeah. Gosh, these videos, the more Joy-Cons Nintendo releases, just the longer and longer my videos become. <laughs> And it's just, at some point it's gonna become unwieldy and I'm not gonna be able to continue. But until then, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I assume most people have tuned out by now. So if you're still watching, thank you. Ooh, this is a really nice combination. I like this white and red right here. This is really good. Um, the color is a little bit odd here, but it's fine. It's not offensive, like I said. But that's a, that's a really good combination. I like that a lot. All right, let's do the uh, let's do the Dragon Quest Joy Cons. Exclusive to Japan. Uh, again, this white and blue looks real nice, really really good. That's fun, but this this works well too. There you go. Yeah, I like that. I like, actually, I like the white with all these Joy-Cons much better than the existing gray or black Joy-Con straps. Uh, the white actually looks real good with all of these. 
All right, let's jump into the uh, purple and orange, and then I'll swap them to get the alternate colors. Uh, now this is where it gets kind of funky because you get all sorts of interesting color combinations, but like the, the purple and the green strap right there, and then the orange with the blue. That's actually kind of fun. I like that. And then you get the opposite. With the uh, purple with the blue, which is also pretty cool. And orange and green, which is fun as well. This gives me like major creamsicle vibes right here. The white and orange right there. Super major crystal, uh, crystal, uh, creamsicle vibes. Um, yeah, that's pretty great. I kind of want a creamsicle now. All right, so let's jump into the uh, Disney Tsum Tsum Joy-Cons as well. So the purple is going to be very similar to what we already saw, and the pink is actually also going to be very similar, but, you know, in case it makes a difference with the extra layers of things, let's just take a quick look at that. So the back is the same. And then a real quick swap. Let's do that as well. All right, again, purple and blue. Uh, this actually does work a little bit better because you have a pattern design here, a pattern design there, you know? So that's actually kind of fun. I, I do like that. Uh, I suspect my wife will probably use those combinations a lot because she uses these Disney Joy-Cons a lot and then the new straps to go along with it. Um, so let's bring in... Uh, actually, let's do uh, this right here, the, the Pikachu and Eevee Joy-Cons. Again, these are pretty great. I mean, this this works really well. You just have these extra colors, which are kind of interesting. And then swapping the colors. There you go. And there you go. All right, then we have the uh, the blue Joy-Con. I only have one because it released with another neon yellow and uh, that kind of sucked to have a repeat, but especially of one of the worst colors. Uh, but that's kind of fun, again, with the blue. And then bringing in the green here. That's pretty cool as well. So yeah. There you have that. And now we're getting into the custom Joy-Con territory. Let's bring in the Atomic Purple ones, which are the first ones that I customized myself. First and only ones, I guess. Did that on a live stream, which was fun. Um, yeah, the white ones also, you know, look pretty cool. Extra added color for fun. So that's pretty great. All right, then we have our Legend of Zelda Joy-Cons as well. So, eh, that one doesn't really match super well, but, uh, I mean, I guess this green doesn't either because it's so light. I suppose I should swap them just for completion's sake because the designs are different on the two Joy-Cons. Uh, not that it's really going to make a difference, but... There you go. Not any better, and uh, not any better there either. So this is probably one of the only ones that doesn't match as well, in my opinion. But it's fine. It's a custom one. And then last but not least, I have my custom gold ones from Colorware. Again, these ones actually don't match as well. I mean, it, it's fine. It works. It's just, it doesn't look like, ooh, that's nice. It's just like, oh, okay. Because the, the glossy finish just kind of doesn't match as well there. So, anyways, that's all that. So, what that leaves us with now is basically the end of the video. And so, I will sort of end things by saying that I think this is um, a really, really cool 
uh, system, really cool option for Animal Crossing fans. Um, I think the the Switch looks great. These colors are amazing. Doesn't mesh super well with other Joy-Con colors, but that's not a problem usually for most people because you don't have all the Joy-Cons and stuff. Uh, but just as, as a unit right there, that looks great. I love the color combination. I love the two-tone thing. The background pattern looks really, really nice as well. Um, you got a really nice dock to put it in, uh, which is great. I'm probably gonna have to put this on um, maybe my TV in, in the office here versus in our main living room area just because the whole entertainment system is black so the white doesn't blend in as well there. But here, It'll give me some nice relaxing vibes here in the office. And then uh, we do have the color coordinated Joy-Con straps, which are super, super great. So there you have it, folks. This is the new Animal Crossing Switch. And of course, the 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 case to go with it. I think there are other cases too, but this was like the main one that they were displaying. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm excited about the game. I'll try and eventually do some live streams and maybe invite people over to towns or explore other towns, but that's going to be in the future. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below um, if there are comments. I don't no, I have to check the COPPA stuff uh, if you are enjoying these unboxing videos and, and so on. But if not, please give it a thumbs up, share the video. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care, and I will see you later.